What's up everybody, Steve Butts here with my friend Brandon Terrell. Howdy. We've also got the Fallout 4 Pip-Boy Edition. Super excited, we that's just got these in the office today. That's right, limited edition, hot off the press, uh, 120 bucks, but sold out everywhere, so your best chance to get one is on the secondary market. Yeah, the eBay, you can get them for like 180, 220 yeah. maybe. Yeah. Not sure what the price is gonna do uh, from here, but uh, let's start first with just the box itself. This box is uh, really, really cool. I could see using this for all kinds of neat stuff. Yeah, I mean, the attention to detail is really cool. It's very Fallout themed. On the back here it says, fits most human arms. So that's, <laughs> that's important. really good. That's really um, good. I have a human arm. You do. Yeah, Wait, you, you have up? two. Can you open up the uh, top there? I yeah. can. Ready? Here All we right. go. I feel like there should be like dry ice and smoke yeah. and stuff. So the first thing obviously you're going to get with this is duh, the game itself, right? right? Yeah. Comes in this really cool steel case, Fallout 4. Uh, I like this a lot. There's a perk poster in here as well. So that's it right. shows you uh, at least in terms of icons, what all the special perks are in the game. Everything you it's can get for your character. Need yeah. as a reference. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also a Vault Dweller survival guide, really which, just a controller. surprise, surprise, just yeah. controller right. layout. Yeah. All right, you also let's have, get to the bigger stuff here. So with the limited edition, or the Pip-Boy edition comes, surprise, a Pip-Boy. You have an instruction manual, but we're not going to look at that right now. Uh, exactly. Uh, so the Pip-Boy is actually really cool. Uh, it's, you know, comfortable. We've tried it on already. Yep. Um, the attention to detail, the plastic, everything seems really well made. Yeah, it's not too heavy, but yeah. it's super sturdy. It's not too chintzy. The, gen the, the hinges, the joints don't come apart when you open it. Uh, do you want to take that real quick? Yeah, and it's got all these cool dials and buttons and things that work on it. Obviously, they, they don't have any functionality, but here, like, there's this little tuner here, which I think is really, really cool. Yeah. If you want to dial in your favorite nothing. The attention to detail, again, is pretty cool. You have, like, a little rad mm -hmm. counter on there to, to know if you're, you're getting... Lethal levels of radiation sitting in front of your TV playing Fallout 4. Yeah, so let's actually open this up and get it on here. Cool. Uh, all right, so uh, inside you've got some uh, padding rings, basically. Right. This is so that you can actually put your phone in because, surprise, surprise, when the game comes out, there's also going to be a companion app, which yes. is a second screen experience. Yes. Allows you to manage your perks, your inventory, and you can actually slide your phone into the Pit Boy with this app. Yep. Uh, which, to me, I think is really cool. We uh, had some trouble getting the regular iPhone 6 in there. The 6 Plus is way too big to fit. Yeah, 6 Plus will not fit. Uh, I think the foam rings right now are set for like 4, 4S, 5, 5S, 6, 6S. Uh, there's a Galaxy in there as well mm -hmm. for Android users. Um, but like Steve said, when we stuck a 6, uh, an iPhone 6 in there, it was really, really snug. One of the volume buttons was depressed and like right. the volume icon appeared on screen the whole time. So uh, you might have to play with it a little bit to get it to work uh, just how you want it. Well, let's go ahead and open this up. You see there's some different frames you can put around your phone. And there's also a uh, battery in here which operates a couple of lights in this thing. So you simply pull this little tab out. There you go. And then Close that up. Close this up. And you press a little button. Look, you got a little, got little a comforting orange glow got on the front the top and on the, the back. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got one with the phone in. Why don't we go ahead and put that one on and okay. uh, kind of see what it looks like. Cool. Let's go ahead and set this on the stand. It also comes with a stand, as you can see, with two, uh, close this up right. Comes with two little knobs and it actually fits pretty well. Nice and secure, not going anywhere. Uh, all right, so why don't we, we got put this one. on your arm here? You got a little Velcro so you can make it nice and tight or yeah. nice and loose, depending on your preference. There you go. The interior is actually covered in foam and it's 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 fairly comfortable. And I'm helping you with this because I'm helpful, but you could do this by yourself, I yeah, feel. I this have, could be a one yeah, person operation. Yeah, absolutely. So you're going to close it up, lock it up. I bit. mean, for some people, it's a one person operation. That's enough of that. <laughs> there you go. So. I'll try to break my arm here so we can get it in. I'm going to come next to you. So uh, you have it on there. The screen is up there already. Um, now, we don't know how this, this really interacts with the actual app itself. But the idea being that, you know, the screen's there, and then you can sort of do what you need to do with it um, while you're playing the game. So I actually could see myself using the second screen experience. I don't know if I'm sitting on my couch with this while I'm right. playing it. What about you? Um, yeah, I, th I feel like it's a little too bulky to be wearing while I'm playing. I think it's a cool thing that you show off to your friends and maybe, you know, for the experience as well. But by and large, I see people pulling out their phone, checking their inventory when they're on the bus or at work or something like that. Yeah. You know? Meanwhile, this thing sits on this rather nice display as kind of a cool little conversation piece on your desk yeah, or absolutely. in your living room somewhere. It's, you know, part of the Fallout experience that you can have outside the game. So anyway, that's the Fallout 4 Pip-Boy Edition. Like we said, it's sold out right now. You can get it secondhand if right. you want. Uh, we want to know what you think, though. Are you excited by what you saw here? Please let us know in the comments below. And for all things Pip-Boy, all things Cosmo, Cosplay and all things two awesome guys just sitting here being excited about games. You. You're already in a place you need to be. IGN.